boys. What up, guys? This is Chivo Guys. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on the under control achievement or trophy in Madden NFL 22. Now, this achievement or trophy is exclusive to the next gen version. It's not going to be in the Xbox One or PS4 version. Now, those of you that have played it since the launch know that this, as well as the Momentum Stealer achievement or trophy, were both unobtainable slash glitched at launch. However, they just patched them, and now both of these achievements are unlockable, making it possible to get the full 1,000 gamer score or platinum trophy in Madden NFL 22 Next Gen. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get the under control achievement or trophy. Personally, I did it against a second controller, so that's what I recommend you do is plug in or connect a second controller, and we're going to start up a custom match. Now, personally, I decided to go with the Tennessee Titans as Derrick Henry is one of the best running backs in the game. And to get this achievement or trophy, we must not only score with the player, but we need to get a spin and a juke during that scoring play. Not only that, but it needs to be a user controlled spin and juke. So make sure that you look for that notification showing you that it was a user spin or a user juke as you need both a user spin and a user juke to trigger the achievement on a scoring play. Now to juke on Xbox or PlayStation, you simply have to tap left or right on the right thumbstick. That's how you juke. To execute a spin, however, you have to press B to spin or on PlayStation, press circle. So yeah, this one is not that easy. It's probably one of the harder and more skillful achievements in the game. So you're definitely not going to get it right away. Personally, I was going for this one for about 30 minutes before I ended up getting it. Now, I can give you some tips. For instance, assuming you're playing with the Tennessee Titans, you want to go play by concept, then go down a deep pass, and you're going to scroll through until you see this play called Red Zone Scissors. It's right here on the left. It says, I got to press X to choose it. That play, Red Zone Scissors, is the play that I ended up getting this achievement on. After you select the play called Red Zone Scissors, you want to take the second controller, and we're going to set them up uh, basically in like a field goal block. So go play by type, press special, and then you want to do a block. Whether it's block right, block left, just do some sort of field goal block. And basically what we have is we have this Red Zone Scissors against a field goal block. And in this play, your running back actually goes out and ends up being a receiver. So this is just one of those plays where you can throw it to your running back, which is key because we want to get an achievement for spinning and juking on the same play. And, you know, the running backs tend to be more skillful in terms of spinning and juking. So I'm going to go ahead and keep doing this play over and over again until I can get a spin and a juke and a score on the same play. So with Derrick Henry, I simply ran it down the field kept throwing it to him. If you haven't noticed already, you can throw it to Derrick Henry by pressing RB. That's the button that's assigned to him in this play. Try to do a spin and a juke in the same play and hopefully get a touchdown. Obviously, this is much easier the closer that you are to the red zone. When I ended up unlocking it, I was about on the five yard line, so fairly close to getting that touchdown. However, I almost got it on a deep play. For instance, I want to point out that you can actually unlock this with the second controller. Uh, basically, it doesn't matter if you're signing to a separate profile on the second controller. The achievement only unlocks for the first player. So you can actually pull this off with the Bengals or the second controller, and the achievement or trophy would still pop for your main profile. So just know that you can pull this off with any of the teams. And I ended up setting up this game to face the Bengals, and the Bengals actually happen to have a pretty good running back as well. So as you can see, I actually almost unlocked the achievement right here with Joe Mixon in a similar type play. But unfortunately, I got tackled right before I got the touchdown. Now, if you're wondering how I set it up with the Bengals, I ended up going selecting the play by player, selecting Joe Mixon. And the first play is called Mesh. And that's the one I almost got it with with Joe Mixon. This play right here, it's the Mesh. Where he's basically going to have like a wheel route to the right hand side. And you can throw it to him by pressing RB. You can also try to unlock the achievement, you know, when the Bengals have the ball via doing this play with the second remote. Again, even though you're playing with the second remote, the achievement would still unlock for player one. So I'm just showing you a replay of this play. You know, you can easily break away. Just make sure that you do one user juke and one user spin and that you end up scoring. 
Now, I almost got it that way, but again, the way I actually ended up getting it was with Derrick Henry using this play right here, the red zone scissors. Almost was able to break away right here. Again, this isn't the easiest achievement or trophy in the game. This is actually one of the more skillful ones, so don't expect to get it on your first try. It's not that easy to, you know, do a user juke and a user spin and score on the same play. It's definitely challenging. Again, it, it took me about 30 minutes rinse and repeating this process until I was able to actually pull it off right here. So this is where I pulled it off. I did a quick spin, quick juke, and I ended up unlocking the achievement right here called Under Control worth 20 gamer score. Unfortunately, I ran out of my 10 hour trial on my Chivo Guides profile, so I had to record this on a separate profile, but hopefully I'll end up getting the game and getting the 1000G myself. More than anything, I just wanted to get this video out for you guys. As always, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 16 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including TimG84, AOJ, Kegger101, Kana25, Michael Banksa, and Purple Rain6. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.